Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We are Declare Glory of the West Franken Revolt. Although, okay, so apparently, I don't actually have to win this war. I can just white peace, more or less, maybe whenever. And that the only real difference between the two is if I enforce the demands... This, this is one of the things that keeps swapping the king out and revoke or removes title revocation laws. So if I just white peace, I do lose prestige, but the king likes me more and I get to keep Paris? I mean, I guess that makes sense. But that, weirdly, seems too easy, so I'm not sure. Car Duke Carloman, son of Satan? Son of Satan. How did you get to be son of Satan? Well, okay, your father was... Oh, that's your liege. Your liege was literally possessed. Hold on. What about your father? Your father was not possessed. Although he's a kinslayer. Son of Satan. The liege, the king of Austrasia is possessed. Well, hey, I was going to say join the club, but I guess that was our last guy. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little... Okay, apparently I've been working way too hard trying to fight these wars. So we'll do that differently next time. Now, the, one of the questions is, do I actually have a truce with my king? And I think the answer is no. And it looks like, I mean, I know why they keep wanting Paris, because it's like the freaking capital of France. But I still want to tell them to, like, F off and leave me the hell alone. So, we'll keep going this way. Did see uh, um, a mention in the comments that it might be a good idea to move my capital to something else, like Orléans or something like that, so that the tech comes out of there instead of the tech increasing in Paris. Germanic Reformation. Oh, one of the the ancient Germanic religion has gone and reformed. So now they're all a proper church. Which is going to help them get, what, more government forms and things like that? Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, vassal levies, recruit court physician. I don't suppose we can just assign it to someone halfway decent? Um, maybe not a possessed someone. <laughs> the Bishop of St. Agnon is possessed... How many people are possessed these days? Maybe it was more common in, in 1817 than, you know, later on in the run? I don't know. Uh, it feels like all of a sudden we're playing Supernatural. We need uh, Sam and Dean to come over here. Um, so we'll put out word that we need a new physician. Is it... Whoops. Is there something I can do with that guy? How do I get him back? Bish this guy. Um... Feels like there's surprisingly little I can do with him. Some of my vassals really aren't happy. I got the powerful vassal thing. Are you competent in anything? You're actually quite good at diplomacy. I don't suppose I can put you on my council to make you happier. Uh, oh, this is a mayor. He's still 18, which is really good. I mean, 20 is better. You're only a 9, but I don't really oops, have someone... I've got 16s over here. Although that's the possessed guy again. I don't know what that might do. And yeah, no powerful people in this. It probably I should upgrade you to here, even though... I mean, you already hate me. This guy hates me less, and he's going to hate me even less once I make him a thing. So that's uh, something. Um, look, we're going to check uh, to see if we need to proselyze or do anything like that. I don't remember what the situation is. Um, the 10 over here is not terribly good. But we can only go up to an 11. There's this guy, Count of Anjou. He's down to an 8. He's a powerful vassal and he just hates me. I don't, I don't think there's anything much we can do improvement-wise. Um, oh, here's the Count of Anjou again. Yeah, he's the guy who really is the diplomacy guy. I don't know, I could do a swap, but I mean, he hates me so much. The Tyrant. It's minus 40 is from what's seen on the council. I mean, he would still hate me even if he was on the council, and then I'd get, like, discontent council shit, which I don't want to deal with. 
Okay, so there was that. There was, some, um, there was something else I was about to check, and I don't remember what it is. Oh, right, religion stuff. Any... These are all Catholic. That's good. Um, can I tell... If I find characters in my realm who are, poss I guess, rulers, but aren't of my religion. Ah! Let's see, what do we got here? Um, where's the religion listed? Oh, Old Germanic, Old Germanic, Lollard. The mayor of the Sewell is Lollard. Oh, you're, you're fighting. No, I want to find out... I guess I click on you, and then click on that. It's in Burgon? Huh? Oh, I guess Realm is my entire independent country, which is to say West Francia or whatever it is. Okay, so I have no vassals that don't match anything. I don't have anyone in my court that, um... Any. Okay. I have one whole person in my court that doesn't match. He's Tengri. Okay, so we got no Lollards or... I don't remember the, the other heresies. I was just gonna see if there was anything that I might want to do with my court chaplain here. Like the Hunt Apostates. I mean, if I do leave this on, I get more piety, which isn't bad. But we don't need to convert some things here. Culture tech is pretty good. You know what? We're just going to keep holding on to Paris. F this. We're going to work our ass off just holding on to Paris. We're, we're, we're tossing in completely there. Um, training troops is... Oh, you want to point... Commander, yes. Oh, most skilled, skilled physician residing in the nearby village, even though he lacks any formal schooling and is suppo supposedly a raging alcoholic. The villagers swear that he's been able to cure any ailment afflicting him. This uh, Baudouin could easily be persuaded to come take up residence in your court. He is a drunkard. But he does have 20 learning. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? He's probably just going to try to treat me with, like, whiskey and brandies and stuff, and I'd be okay with that. So I don't know if things have changed here in Iberia from the, the early start. I'm not, I'm not sure if it starts as all Umayyad or not. I'd have to like go back to the original bookmark to see if there were any uh, Christian nations over here at the start. Peasants of Paris are far and spread out. Your spy master suggests investigating a provisional messenger system so they can communicate with their kin more easily. Oh, that sounds great. Would attract more peasants to the country. Excellent idea. Spend a little bit of gold, gain prestige, messenger stations with supply limit, and it gives us prosperity in Paris. Absolutely. What is the prosperity level in Paris right now? Okay, we don't actually have the prosperity perk. Settle an adventurer protects the realm from raiders. That is very cool. Because that, well, I think we'll get a little ticky here at some point. Famous writer proposes, con oh, my, yes, of course. Um, We will, I guess we could become humble. Well, it's only 15% chance and everyone gets cranky. 12 gold. There's actually a fair amount of gold, but no, of course, write a book for me. Oh, I've gained the proud trait. Proud's not bad. I know it's like it's listed as a negative trait because it's a sin, but it does give us monthly prestige. It might ruin our relationship with, you know, certain people, especially if someone's humble. Um, I have sucked up to the Baron of Paris. Good. I'm wondering if I should send my... Is this where my king is living? Way over here in Geneva? Um, I wonder if I should suck up to him or if it matters. I could consider sowing descent. Local nobles and their liege. It might not be a terrible idea, to be honest. Like, is this a... Where are you? Cardinal Prince Bishopric, which is a duchy-level title, right? Yeah. So, if I go and start storing up shit here, it should... Well, I mean, it might mess up this guy's relationship but it, with his vassals. Or it might mess up his relationship with the liege. How many chancellors show descent between local nobles and their liege? Yeah, so if I go and plop that down here, it should make him all salty. Which might be a thing. We could fabricate some claims, but I mean, we've got our duchy level title. We sort of want another one. Part of me is thinking, like, the next step is, let's become king. Uh, oh, she finished her education. Faith and learning, learned all the basic skills. She's level two cleric. 
Um, she seems to trust everyone lacking any notion of evil in man. She could become charitable or become trusting. Let's make her charitable. That's okay. Club-footed, uh, gay, not of my dynasty. I don't particularly care what happens to you. You don't like me because I'm a tyrant, which that's because we kept taking money from the peasants, but it may or may not have been necessary. Now it's like, turns out like this war shit was stupid. Um, I guess we'll get you married off. Um, to someone who wants to be married. Oh my god, it's perfect. They're both gay. And I mean, that's, that's how gay marriage works, right? Gay pair person marries another great gay person. I'm a little confused on the details, but I'm pretty sure that's how gay marriage is supposed to work. They can be each other's beard? I don't know what the the, the, the equivalent version of the... I don't know. Uh, you two get married. It's great, because you guys can like have relationships outside the marriage while still existing in a culturally acceptable in 1818 kind of situation here, and hopefully not get burned at the stake. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck. We got some claims that we can push for some people, including duchies and things. I think we're going to hold off on that. We'll probably go up a little higher on speed here. So yeah, I'm going to try to keep holding on to Paris. Who, who lacks this? Who's this? It's Bad Seed! A few of my dynasty. Oh my god, I don't have my spreadsheet open. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, let me give you a focus. You've got quite a few traits you've developed. Ooh, two positive traits for intrigue. Well, bad seed. I think we might have fun with you. Um, this is cocked. Not of my dynasty. Um, whatever, become proud. It's fine. Um... I think we can probably just marry you off to whoever. I don't think it really matters for a lot of this. Uh, again, maybe a good idea to, like, marry people who want to become married so that they can be happy. You've actually got a claim. I don't think I'm going to marry a non-member of my dynasty. We're going to try to save those claim people for some sort of matrilineal or something something. Um, what's the other search? I think, do I have a load filter? Yeah, this would show me people of my dynasty who aren't married. And I don't remember, I think I was still, like, having a hard time finding suitable people over here. Um, arrange marriage. Okay, this is not the right screen for this. Click on you. Click here. So you're of my bloodline, so I really want a matrilinear. Again, we could go shopping somewhere else. But these are people who would accept a matrilinear marriage. None of them have claims on anything. Uh, Marcus is of our blood, so we're not going to marry you. This needs to be like football manager, where we can like set up some sort of like transfer list for these people so that other people will come shopping more. But I think this was the problem before, right? A princess with claims on three different things. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. And you're of age and everything. Uh, Marcus Anonymous, congratulations, Mr. Attractive. You are going to marry Heloas, Princess of Austrasia. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Boom, boom. Marrying the relative of the king. All right. Hopefully your children will inherit claims or something. I'm not sure. I didn't check to see if they were inheritable, but that's going to be fine. Uh, Racist the Flammy. I think we're going to run into the same problem where we have no good matrilinear options over here. Ah, you're 18. He's 8. A bastard, but attractive. So we get some bloodline options here. You might not be able to get the inheritance here. But let's go and set up this marriage. So this is going to be betrothal. Matrilinear. And more ways to get sort of attractive and good genetic traits into our bloodline. And Maybe some claims. I'm not I'm not poking around too hard to see if it's inheritable in any significant way, but we'll see what we can do. Um, boom. This also brings will bring some more people to our uh, court. Uh, yes, excellent. Marcus is getting married. And yeah, while I'm at it, where the hell is that spreadsheet? I guess I can just open my LibreOffice calc and then find my, like, recent files. My wife is pregnant! Is this going to be our second child? Second child. See, it's like, you know, different time. People weren't allowed to be who they want to be. It's sad, but at least it keeps our, our blood pool going. We got our quick daughter. That's, oh, that's great. Supernova, the quick daughter. 
Um, you want me to be appointed uh, the marshal? Yeah, absolutely. Just stop trying to take Paris away from me. I know why you want to. Because it's your du jour, like, whatever the fuck. But, you know, stop being a poopy head. I could be your bro, bro. Uh, this is our court chaplain, which we need to replace. Um, I guess we'll put Baudouin. He is drunk, but Manny is good. And there's no, like, powerful people that are particularly interested in this role. And you're, like, a loyalist, which is going to be great and lovely. Um... We can improve religious relations, but everyone thinks I'm tiring still, so... You know, I'm just gonna keep developing Paris. We're gonna... We're just gonna hold on to Paris and develop it and become king at some point. I don't know when we'll do that. Cathar Heresy has appeared in the county of Clev, which... I'm gonna say isn't one of mine. I don't see it. Oh, it's way over there. I was gonna say, isn't that like in Germany or some shit? Or something like that? Netherlands? That might be Netherlands, because that's Netherlands. I don't know. I don't know about this in real life, because geography? <laughs> any any science or or knowledge? No, I don't know any of it. Um, according to my marshal, the peasants of Schott are having um, troubles with high women and well beasts, so just constructing a series of outposts along the roads. Peasantry would feel much safer. Uh, this is probably, yeah, it's prosperity. So six gold isn't much. You, you get the prestige... Less revolt risk, and the prosperity goes up. I like it. See, level one hospital, and here we don't have hospitals. But fair enough. Having a hard time banking up some money. Ah! There we go. We've got another daughter. Two daughters. Um, no, no traits that we know of. Okay. So I think genetic traits would show up right away. So none of that, but that's all right. Uh, where's my, where's my spreadsheet? Um, uh, start recovery of this finish there we go come on computer you can do it so this is gonna be assuming that my spreadsheet is still there my computer got got crashed the other day so it had to go into recovery mode but i'm pretty sure i've got my file updated properly so we have our new lovely daughter wooden trap door over here welcome to the party wooden trap door um i hope you have a long and prosperous life and, uh, hopefully we can marry you off to someone matrilinearly that has a thing. Strong. Marvin is strong. Very good trait. Because it's extra health, martial, fertility. Like, look at this. Attraction opinion. Like, it's a great, great, great stat. Um, it might be, might have been ideal to, like, focus even more heavily on martial and put you in a good position to be, like, um, well, a martial or something like that. But, uh, looks like you don't have the thing. Um, diplomacy is always nice. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go that way. I mean, you do get a boost from diplomacy on strong, so I think it's gonna be okay. I do like to, like, hyper-focus on one thing as much as possible. Get, you know, rather than spread everything out. I mean, it's not bad to have an average, but if you're really good in one field, then you can get appointed to seats by your, your liege and all that kind of exciting stuff. So the world continues to be at war. We've got some positive, uh, uh scores now. Ooh. Righteous imprisonment. You have some sort of plot. What is your plot, Marcus? You want to kill some dude, my spy master. I'm just going to ask you to end your plot. I think that's going to be better. I don't have the auto stop, though, because some of the plots are fine. And I don't really care. And if you have auto stop, sometimes you'll have... Um, sometimes you want to imprison someone who's plotting for something. And... Um, Yeah, sometimes, like, and then you want to arrest them, so you don't want it to auto-stop. So that's why I have it that way. Swords are sharp and dangerous. I can lead better from inside my own castle. I'm going to become Craven? Seriously? Why, do? Why, do? Hmm, maybe business focus is, is hurting that. I don't know. That's the limit. We've got more domain size that we can do, but I don't think we have to do anything about it. I'm mostly, you know, happy to sit back and have some money. I mean, I could continue to improve Orleans and, and move our, our capital there. I don't know, what's the, what's the button to do that? Oh, right there, make capital. But... <sighs> Just told Paris forever. This could be a horrible mistake. Ah, uh, lose envious. Um, improving buildings is good, but you know what? I'll, maybe I'll try to sit at around 500 gold. 
so that we can get a big Merc group for future stuff whenever possible. Although I'll be much more on guard <laughs> We're against, against Duke Carloman, son of Satan, for some claim, someone else's claim. Um, I'll be a lot more on guard about, like, can we white peace out, like, instantly in these things? I don't even know if that's possible. Maybe we can. Or maybe even if we had, like, 1% war score or some damn thing, we could do it. I do not know. But I'll, I'll be more attentive going forward. How you doing? You're still quick, haughty, playful. Mm-hmm. You got the thrift. Um, any law changes I can do? No, I think we've already done... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, some of these we need tech for. Yeah, I can I can make a law change here, but I think we're missing some of the tech. I can empower the council, but I don't want to. I mean, that'll make them happy. They, they might start, like, factions for it. Any factions going on right now? Some counts claim. Increased council power in West Francia might be something that I would like, because I'm on the council, but I don't want to start these rebellions. Um, Robert could use some guidance in my experience. Areas. Oh, it's this thing. Uh, I do not want you to become ambitious. And you're not one of my blood... Like, if you were one of my bloodline, then maybe, but you're not. So, and I don't want to, like, ruin our relationship and stress myself out, so I'm just going to say no. It's a weird event! I guess, like, if you really want to, like, make someone new better, that would be good. The Cadaver Synod. Strange news from Rome. The former Pope, Pope Nicholas, did by his actions and lifestyle so defile the Holy See that the current authorities in Rome decided to put his corpse on trial. Oh, right! This, is, this was a real thing! That happened. I mean, maybe not to this guy, but this is a thing that happened. The corpse of Pope Nicholas was removed from its tomb and brought to the papal court for judgment. It was propped up on a throne, and a deacon was chosen to speak for it as its legal representative. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Yakuza was found guilty on all accounts and subjected to a punishment most dire. The corp was stripped of its papal vestments, three fingers in the right hand, those used to give blessings were cut off, and then it was interred in a graveyard normally reserved for foreigners of low status. This the punishment still not being deemed severe enough, the corpse was then exhumed again, tied to weights, and cast into the river Tiber. I am sure the judges have acted wisely. Uh, you're going to try to revoke my title again. I will once again decline. So I think this is going to happen fairly regularly here, because we're not getting... <clears throat> we're not getting the law changes. So maybe I should join the faction to increase my power and then try to remove the revocation laws or at least require that the council approve it. That's probably what we should do. So I'm just getting in position. Okay, relatively good position. I will decline. Now, can I white peace right away? No. I need to get a little pop, uh, positive war score for that. Um, but people have joined me, so again, I can raise up more dudes. Get a big stack of them. Um, maybe bop these guys real quick. Things are going your way. But is that happening for very long? And go. And, and then it's possible just holding Paris gives us a ticking war score. It's not very clear. Yeah, controls their holdings. War's indecisive. Okay, but at least you're not considering it to go your way anymore. Um, it's probably more important to grab the 400 pack than these little ones, but let's bop little guys. Oh, Ian in Canada has had a daughter. Ooh, she's sickly. Seems to happen a lot. Maybe a little less often than it used to, but it still seems to happen a fair bit. You got a lot of sickly kids. You are going to be... Lurking Ninja Calm. I feel very strongly that you are going to have to have a high intrigue if we can pull it off. Welcome to the family, Lurking Ninja Calm. Alright, another little skirmish done. I'm going to try to close in on this pack of 400 here, which I believe we should be able to catch somewhere. Stealing some more stuff from Constantinople. Ooh, that is a big... Those are not my enemies, though. Well, they sort of are... I'm still confused. Like, I would have to fight them. But they're sieging something else. They're 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 sort of focused on a war against someone else, so. Let's pop this and then try again with the white piece. I'm very confused by like the different armies, especially when I'm in the rebellion status. About who an enemy is and who's not. 
All right. Oh, I think that might have been a stack wipe. Okay, we're at 19%. There's our white piece. Now, we could try to hold out to enforce demands. Oh, my God. Hold on. If... Oh, my God! The next heir of West Francia is Archambault Anonymous. So, first of all, if we win this, we will force his abdication. But what I should also do... Oh, my God, a plot chance is way too low. How old is he? He's 52. How is he the heir? Oh... <gasps> Now, it feels very unlikely that we can we can win it, but let's keep going for now. Especially depending on who else is fighting in these various wars. I mean, we obviously can't take that as is. We don't really have a lot of money for a big merc group, although maybe. Okay, let's see, this is another nice group over here. So you're here now, and you're heading over here. Um, I may be Craven, but I'm going to lead from the center anyway. So we're going to bop you. So you're still just chilling out. So there's some other war going on against Australasia, keeping them busy. And it is definitely King Pepin. So this is Army of Frederick. You actually might not be concerned with fighting me. Which is interesting. Now, I probably should siege some stuff, but I think continuing to bop these guys while we have a good opportunity... Oh, you ran that way. Um, you might be running to here. Oh, I could have jumped in... Maybe. But yeah, that's Australia. So, you might not be concerned with going after my holdings. Technically, we'd fight if we were in the same area. But that might not be your focus. Um, these are mountains. Well, this is a small group. I guess the other one went to Valais over here. Daughter born to Marcus. You... I need to keep my list around better. Oh, you're going to be Tersia! Tersia! Welcome to the family, Tersia. You are... Ooh, attractive and sickly. Well, here's hoping you survive. All right, one well, that... Can we catch you? No. But I could siege out some random crap then. I could siege out your capital. Let's siege out your capital. We might... Or are you presumably at home? You are at home. We could even potentially capture you. Uh, righteous imprisonment of who? You are doing something. Is there a way to just find out what your plot is? From here? Oh, right here. You want to kill up some guy I don't know. Still, you hate me. Oh, my imprisonment chance are really low. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't agree. Alright, well, continue on with your plot then. Whatever. So yeah, let's... Oh, hold on. There's my capital being sieged out. It's a small group, but we can't let them do that. Because that would definitely hurt my war score a lot. Hopefully we don't run into any bad guys along the way. We'll have to double check here. Okay, we're still good. Oh, I can't catch you. I might still be able to catch you somewhere, but yeah, let's go and bop there. This is amazing. Makes me wish we could still just spend money to try the assassination through the old um, di diplomacy screen. But that was a stupid system, and getting rid of it's not a bad thing. Victory, 66. So, I mean, there's no... You wouldn't enforce demands. Yeah, Anonymous. Our family would rule Paris. And at that point, if, if that king says, Hey, can I have Paris? I'd be like, sure, buddy. Because the important thing is that our dynasty is in Paris one way or another. Um, and at some point, like, we, our character might not be the king of Frank yet, but our dynasty would be. And at some point, I would probably get to a position where I would die and then start playing as the character who was the king of Frank here, or some goddamn thing like that. 
Um, I guess we're going to put a cut in here. We're going to keep this war going. I mean, I can... I've got money. We can take out some mercs if need be. I'm going to try to hold out for now. I'll try to siege out some of the territory on the other side, because that tends to be pretty significant for war score. We'll hold on to our capital. Maybe I'll just siege out Sense, sense over here, um, since it's actually um, protected from basically... Um, every side by river, so it's not a bad place. And if I need to get mercs, I can recruit them and go in there. They come in with no um, uh, no morale, but I think we could probably make that work one way or another. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Thanks for the tips in the comments as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.